M0FXB. So we're having a little play. What it is, if you want to, this is the the blue the DV Mega BlueStat Micro Plus, and there's a manual here, which I'll put in the in the description. So many of us have got these, and if it only doesn't work on Fusion, you need to upgrade the firmware. But the problem is that the people that used to sort of provide all the firmware and all the links here, um, the links are all dead. So I've been searching, and I've found some live links. So first thing I'll say is, before you can do the firmware, you have to add a wire. Now look in this picture here. The wire, you might already have it on yours, but it goes from here, this little point here, through here, under the prom. It's just not connected to anything. It's just going under the prom, and it's connecting here, right here. Okay, so zoom in and uh, have a good look at that. And I'll sh there is a picture here that shows you that it's, if you've got the single band DV Mega, so probably 77 one, it goes from here on this side, under the prom, and then look, it's the second pin in if you've got the prom facing it, this, you know, this way round. And it looks like if you've got the dual one, you go from here, and then do do do, same pin. So that's the wire you need to make sure, and you c it is in mine, it's in green. Right, so the next thing you need to do is go to Passion, and thanks to Passion Radio, because they have, are selling this item, well, it says out of stock, but the good thing is that all their links are live. So the first thing I would say you need is you're going to need, uh, get the manual, download the manual. You're going to need the, the firmware downloader, which is here. So click this, and then run this little X loader zip, and when you've got it, it will look like this. See, that little square here. That's the one you need, okay? So, I did run this AVR Dude XE. I just ran it for the sake of it. So once you've got the, this little square here, obviously your the DV Mega, you need to have the, turn off any blue DV that you're running, and you need to make sure the red button is inwards, inwards. Yeah, because that's the PC connection. So you've got that done. The next thing you need is you need the the USB driver and the firmware. So let's just firstly click the latest firmware, as far as I can see, is this one here. Firmware DV Mega 3.26. So click that. And then we'll just go on it. And the one you want is... I think it's the, let me have a look at the one I ran. There it is there, see that? 3.26 Uno. Uno Hex. RH, oh you've got two there, that's a bit confusing isn't it? I'll show you the one that I actually used. Uh, let me just go to Files. One does say Japan, one does say Hex. Anyway, Files, let's go to the Files. Uh, files here. Too many files here. DV Mega, and the one I used was... 326 Uno Hex, that's the one I used. So let's say it's the Uno Hex, okay? Because I know it worked fine. Right, so when you've got that, then you want the FTDI driver. Right, so the driver, I found it on this page, Combitronics. That's the driver. I'll do a dedicated video for that, because these FTDI drivers are quite hard to find. So, in this section, it says download, because some of these work, some don't. So, anyway, let's go to the actual driver. Sorry, there's so, so many things here. I'll put both these in the description. Here it is. In case you need the USB driver, download them here. Click that, and then run the, the little zip, and it will give you the FTDI driver. I've already got it. So when it opens, we'll run it. There you go. Ignore the WinRAR. WinRAR's free. So double click that.
Click yes. Extract the drivers, yes. I might run it twice, but you know, it's the same thing. Extract, that's it, okay. And we've already got it, as you know. So, go to Device Manager, right click, click Device Manager. Right, let's go back, device manager. There's it, there it is there, see? And if you go to port settings, I've set it to 115200, eight bits. The, these worked. So there's it, it's FTDI, okay? So that's fine, and the cable's connected, and it's all fine. So now go to X loader, which is this one here. Now, now you want to, Click these three dots here, and then select that file that we said, which is called the Uno Hex, which we've done. Then you've got Uno Temper. You've got a few choices there, but on the board that looks like the one I've been showing you, the one I went for was the Uno Temper. Yeah? Okay. Comport 10, 115. And then now look at the the um, DV Mega, and it's going to... I'll just turn this around so you can see the... LED light. So you've got the one on the left, which is the normal sort of what you expect to see. And then, so we're going to click upload and we'll put this in the middle, this box. They won't let me. So on the, look at the box here on the top left. We're going to click upload and this is firmware. And it now says uploading and look what happens. The lights start to change. If the lights don't start to change, then it's not doing it. And I've already done this already. So Mine might not start changing, but what ends up happening is the the very far light lights on the right hand side start to flash, and uh, and then when it ends, it will say something like "so and so bits uploaded," and you're done. That's the firmware all done. So I'm just going to try to do it again here. Click upload, uploading. See the lights now, they're doing it now. The lights are flashing like crazy. DV Mega. And when it ends, it will say the amount of bytes that it's uploaded. And you have now upgraded the firmware on your DV Mega. So we'll, we'll, during this video, we may as well just test, we may as well test it. Right, it says now upload 29546 bytes uploaded. So that's all done. We're going to unplug it, plug it back in. So we've unplugged it. Plug it back in. We'll close the uploader and then we'll go to DV Mega. There you go, DV Mega. And I'll just. I might already have my settings in there, so let's check. So we'll go, one thing you can do is click update. Update all these, click yes. Okay, all of this. You're basically updating all the host files, database, it downloads it all. Thanks to PA7LIM for all this. Click, click okay. Update Fusion. Okay, and then menu setup. Now see if I what we've got in here. So yeah, I've got my core sign in. I've got the COM port in. I've set the frequency I want to use here. I've selected RXTX colors. Put my location in. Like so. English. Um, APRS I've ticked on D-Star. Now, if you tick one that says enable at start, that's the one it will boot up at. But I, you don't have to do that. And then I've got in my DMR number, both levels there for DMR. Brand, I've selected Brandmeister, and I've gone to 2341G. I've put a password in. I haven't touched the master one. I think that's to do with DMR+. Plus. Locator for Fusion. Well, you can choose a preference. We'll put CQUK. 
Um, and you, can, you can save that. So you look at so then to connect, just turn the first top one on, and then choose the mode you want to use. So I'm gonna, I've been using D Star. So let's just um, have a go at connecting. One sec. So what we do, we'll um, do the D Star slider. We'll select D Star here. Reflector. Let's do Reflector One, Charlie. Always popular, isn't it? C, and we'll click Link. And with a bit of luck, it will link. There you go. It says Link to One, Charlie. And if we key the mic. It will go red if no one's if no one's already talking, and obviously you have to select DV Mega in your in your radio. You would have had to put in the frequency that's in the DV Mega that you set. If you look at the top here, four three eight six hundred. Make sure you've got that in there. There you are. It goes green when when no one's talking. You can key up and it goes green. And when someone else is talking, it goes red. So that's it. So I'm going to put all the links in. So now you know how to upgrade the firmware on your DV Mega Bluecast Micro. And we'll have the user manual in there. We'll have the firmware links. And I hope this helps. 7.3, all the best.